Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. As most loggers know, not all trees are made equal, and some are certainly much more valuable than others. But how do you tell? Today, we're going to be hearing from the boss about the log grading system and what makes a veneer log a veneer log. Anyways, right now he is busy unloading, so let's go check that out before we hear all about it. Let's get into this video. Hi there, uh, M wanted me to talk a little about the veneer today. This is uh, one more step in optimizing the value uh, to our landowners. Uh, when, we've got a lot of people behind us, sorry I'm getting distracted. When um, log buyers come in, uh, they would give you a veneer price uh, but it was a very marginal price and when you pull out the logs and then lay them out for a specific veneer buyer to come in uh, they pay significantly more and I'm gonna be encouraging our local logging community to go back to laying out logs because they need to they need to optimize the value for their landowner and if they're working on a commission basis like I do they should uh, you know want to get more value out of out of the material so I have seven logs here they're not laid out I'll, I'll wait till I have 15 or 20 it doesn't mean that they are veneer but they meet the uh, specifications for veneer logs uh, the veneer buyer that I sell to will 
by a log at 12 inches. That is a minimum. They don't like a log that small. Uh, so 13, 14, 15 um, is really where the veneer size starts. Uh, it would be a four side clear log and it could be an 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12 feet in length. So you can actually cut veneer right on the foot. Veneer buyers don't like an eight foot log as much as a nine because if it's, a, uh, if it's eight feet and it has a defect in it, you can't cut the log back anymore. Where if it's a nine foot log, you could still uh, take the saw, cut a foot off and, and have a clean eight. And so I always try and have a minimum of nine feet. I've always cut a lot of nine foot logs always trying to optimize the value in into the log so we have uh, red oak here on the end it's uh, all white oak through here and then uh, we have a piece of hickory uh, the white oak I, I see has a tiny defect right here and that's a nine foot log so see I have a defect here so if we cut it here that may clean up that defect and they may be happy uh, with purchasing that then as an eight foot that's a perfect example of why I like to cut them at at nine uh, I am really new to the veneer uh, selling to specific veneer buyers uh, so I you know there they could not buy the log uh, this red oak here I, I'm looking at it now they're come in they spray both ends with water so everything shows up there may be a little bit of mineral stain here there's a tiny defect out here that may be enough to kick that log uh, then it becomes what we call an XP or an export log and I'm hoping to develop again an export market uh, where I can sell to an export buyer. It's a little lower quality than veneer, so if the veneer buyer doesn't make the purchase, uh, maybe the XP buyer would. And that will help us out because uh, then we don't have to pay our landowners for the high value logs and uh, we can run some of the lower grade through the mill. So it helps us uh, and it really puts the log into the market that optimizes the value for the logger and for the landowner. So uh, it's just a small thing that Ironwood Acres Timber Harvest and Lumber Capital Log Yard have been doing behind the scenes. It seems like a simple thing, but getting it all figured out, getting the connections made, and uh, learning what markets other markets exist it takes a little bit of time and knowledge but when it comes to us harvesting your timber you are going to make more money per board foot with us than currently any other company out here and I'm very excited to say that and I stand behind that uh, because we really optimize every board foot of every log and um, you know I'm it's just uh, my dream is coming true. This was part of it that we would be able to take the time and really sort and separate and and optimize not just for us but for for uh, you know just our our landowners and making uh, the high quality material go to the best place. Uh, these logs will actually be processed at a veneer plant in Williamsport, ten miles from here. And that again is also, isn't that exciting? You know, it stays right in our local community. That veneer plant, I think they employ 35 or 40, maybe more full-time employees. So that's just us, you know, being able to be part of our local community. Our logs are staying local. Uh, I'm not saying that the veneer seal sales themselves are local, but the logs remain local for the processing. So um, thank you for your time. Uh, it's almost the weekend. I have several more loads to, to haul yet and then a couple cords of firewood to produce and get out for today. So I'm going to get moving because i got a lot to do. Thank you for your time and have a good weekend.
I've always found that very interesting. Even the tiniest little thing that he points out on one of the logs could be the make or break for a veneer log. And that's just really fascinating to me. I hope that you guys learned something as well. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, I'll see you back here next week.